Hey guys, it's me again. So let's jump right into the second part of my Disney Renaissance uh, reviews. And uh, next up is Aladdin. Yay! Um, so Aladdin. Um, I really, really like this movie. Um, it's a very good movie. Uh, the animation is great. Cast is good, and um. And it's actually based off of uh, uh, one of the tales of like uh, of forty nights or something like that. I, I forget exactly, um, but I really love Aladdin. It's actually one of my favorites from Disney Renaissance. I mean, besides from Mulan and uh, uh, Lion King and Pocahontas, which I don't have unfortunately, and Tarzan, which is another one that I don't have, and Beauty and the Beast, which is. No, again, another one I don't have. Grr. It's like the only Disney Renaissance movies I have on DVD are Little Mermaid, Aladdin, uh, Lion King, and Mulan. So, yeah, those are the only Disney Disney Renaissance movies that I'll be looking at. But, yeah. Um, but still, I really enjoy Aladdin. It's one of my favorites. Um, basic plot is that the main character, who is, uh, who is Aladdin, of course... Um, he starts off as a street rat and um, then he enters the Cape of Wonders and finds this lamp which has a genie in it voiced by Robin Williams who is awesome and um, and he falls in uh, and before that he falls in love with uh, Princess Jasmine and so he wants to use the power of the genie in order to impress Jasmine and fall in love with her and blah 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 and uh, he also uses one of his three wishes uh, to become a prince because there's a law in the kingdom of Agrabah that says that uh, only uh, a prince can marry the princess and so on and so forth. So Aladdin uh, uses one of his wishes to become a prince and does this and that and that and that. But all the while, uh, the genie has his own dream in that is uh, to be free and not have to grant everyone's wishes all the time and blah 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 blah. But unfortunately the villain of the movie Jafar finds out Aladdin's secret and then takes the lamp which means that he now has possession of the genie and uses the power of the genie to become Sultan and make Jasmine fall in love with him so that Jafar can become the Sultan. But of course during the course of the movie Aladdin realizes what a big jerk that he was and ultimately defeats Jafar and sets the genie free and so on and so forth and uh, of course the Sultan ultimately changes the law so that Jasmine can marry whoever she chooses and of course that person would be Aladdin so yeah um, overall I really like Aladdin it's a really good movie um, Robin Williams as the voice of the genie is just really fantastic Jonathan Freeman doing the voice of Jafar and um, Gilbert Gottfried out of all people does the voice of Jafar's uh, sidekick Iago yeah but also what I love about this movie besides the animation is the songs I mean the animation is really good don't get me wrong but it's the songs of the movie that really just drives the whole thing a uh, friend like me is a really good one, and of course the big one is a whole new world. <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, the singing voice of Jasmine was actually done by uh, excuse me, uh, Lea Salonga, who did the voice, who did the singing voice for Mulan in that movie, and uh, she was also in Les Mis and all that stuff, and uh, Miss Saigon, I think, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I really love that song. Um, of course, and there's a. Uh, the Prince Ali song and then the sort of reprise of the song done, done by Jafar. It's just really amazing. And of course Aladdin produced uh, two sequels that were direct to video. Uh, the first one was The Return of Jafar which of course if you look at the movie it's kind of obvious what it's about. And then the third one and which is sadly the final one is uh, Aladdin and the King of Thieves and in that movie you actually get to meet Aladdin's father for the first time. Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, there was only, there were only three Aladdin movies, Aladdin, Return of Jafar, and Aladdin and the King of Thieves, and that was pretty much it. And also something I should bring up, 
is that Robin Williams did not return to do the voice of the genie for uh, the return of Jafar. I guess because there was some kind of dispute back then, like, they didn't acknowledge the fact that Robin Williams did the voice of the genie when they did the whole, like, when they did, uh, like, some promo stuff for Aladdin, so... Yeah, but thankfully Robin Williams did return to do the voice of the genie in Aladdin and the King of Thieves. But for the second Aladdin movie, they got Dan Castellaneta, who does the voice of Homer Simpson on The Simpsons, to do the voice of the genie for Return of Jafar. And uh, it's really kind of hard to tell that it's not Robin Williams in the second movie, but when you get to the third one, you definitely know it's Robin Williams. And of course, you know, um, the movie actually was, uh, Aladdin actually was nominated for an Oscar for uh, Best Writing, but unfortunately that didn't happen because Robin Williams ad-libbed way too many of his lines. But still, um, I really enjoy Aladdin. I know it's got action, it's got comedy, it's got drama, it's got romance. Um, it's just really, really fun, it's just a really, really fun movie. Um, and they did use some CGI in this movie, like, uh, like using the CAPS system, whatever that is. And they mainly used it for, um, for the magic carpet and for, um, the Cave of Wonders, like this big giant lion head thing that comes up out of the sand and stuff like that. It's just really, really great. And, um, but yeah, I really love this movie. Um, the, the songs are great. The animation is perfect. I just love it. And, um, but yeah, out of all the movies of Disney Renaissance, Aladdin is definitely right there in the, it's definitely right up there with one of my favorites. It's just a really, really fun movie. I love it. It's great. And it has an honest message, you know, just be yourself and everything will work out great in your life. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about Aladdin. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's just really fantastic. So, yeah. Don't know what I'll be reviewing next, but, well, I just don't know what I'll be doing next. So, yeah, um, anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. I might look at The Secret of Nim, or I might just jump into, like, a random review, or maybe, uh, maybe look at The Lion King or something like that. I don't, I really don't know, but yeah, I have a ton, I have a butt ton of reviews to do. So, yeah, but anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.